Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good Shabbos to you. God bless every single one of you today. It is Saturday, November 7th, and if you celebrate your holy day on, on Sunday, I used to. I used to even be an altar boy. I changed when I got knowledge, but I don't hate you for it. I love you. Stay convicted in your heart. We should We should honor God every day. So God bless you today. God bless you tomorrow whenever you do celebrate it. I hope you have a very peaceful day. Now we have our 4 a.m. update, and it, here's your tropical storm warnings and watches. Also, I am showing that it is going to be weakening with this storm, and it's not going to get up to hurricane force, mainly because the, the, the tops are being pulled so much by that volatile area in between the low and the high pressure squeezing that it won't be able to get upright. It's going to be, you know, the center location is going to be one area up in the upper uh Upper clouds is going to be in another area. It won't be able, but it won't be able to get intense if it don't get up right. But anyway, here's your update. It's showing it. Here's a new track. It's showing it will turn and go to the north. Here's your tropical storm warnings in the blue. Tropical storm watches in the yellow, and I predict that this will change over by Florida in the Florida Keys. Now here's your probability of tropical storm force winds, and as you've noticed, most of it is in the beginning. So really, Cayman Islands has seen the worst of it, and so so will uh, Florida Keys see kind of the worst of it, as well as Cuba. But as far as Florida, it looks like the most edge of it is 30% uh, chance of tropical storm force winds, and this is already playing through, and then you don't have any dark colors there, so that's a good thing. You can see the most intense part is right here by the Cayman Islands. Now here's your your uh, storm surge predictions from the National Weather Cert, what nothing what National Weather Center, uh, one to two feet all the way from uh, Volusia County line, all the way down to North Miami Beach, and then from North Miami Beach all the way around to Marco Island is predicted to be two to th two to three feet, uh, also with came, uh, Florida Keys. Now, for the one to five days, rainfall is still expected. It's still the same way, except it's going more up to the uh, north and northeast. Uh, a little bit of uh, Georgia as well. You're predicted to get about an inch. But it has gone further north with the darker for the two to four inches. It was about right down here yesterday, and it has gone further to the north. And that's probably because it's getting more moisture into the Gulf, and these storms are building up. Uh, like I showed you last night, uh, well, yesterday's video, that the dry air was getting filled up with moisture, so these storms will grow, and it will be more onshore uh, rain, so that's why it's getting heavier. Plus, you have the high pressure over here in the, in, the, in the Atlantic, and you have the low pressure meeting together in this volatile area. It's just creating massive storms. That's where the waves and the, and the, and the bad rain is going to be. Uh, but here's your area for 6 to 10 inches for the orange, uh, 4 to 6 inches for the yellow, guys. Now, here's your risk of flash flooding, okay? And I got it as, well, Noah, Noah has it. As far as days, uh, Sunday morning, this is where you can expect flash flooding. It will be worse uh, through Monday, and then it will lighten up for you on southern Florida, and that's when it's going to hit northern Florida on Tuesday. Now, for the good news. Uh, now, this is Moab, just like I showed you the other day. Moab was just one that showed that it would be some intensification. Moab is a, a Navy place. Uh, it's a very nice place. But it's not showing, not even the Cat 1 anymore. It's gone down. It's probably because, like I said, the wind shear is going to be ripping the top off of it and making it lopsided. It'll never get up right to get strong. But this is the forecast model they have. And here's the other, uh, all the all the H Wharf, H Mons. All of them are showing the same paths. Uh, H Mon is actually showing that it's going a little wide over the Bahamas. And then it's going to curve in and then do a wide curve back to the east. So we just got to see it's just now getting started by the Cayman Islands. Now, in the next 72 hours, this is where you're predicted to have a tropical storm. And it's all the way up just about uh, to 100%. It's right at to 95%. But this is your area for tropical storm. So I believe that it is it is pretty, pretty accurate. It's just a system. I love it. And it does weaken. If you notice, the darkness gets smaller as it goes through for the 96 hours. So the storm starts weakening as it goes across and goes out. So I did a check to see if there was any hurricane force winds and none. 72 hours was the best chance and it's not showing anything. It's not even a chance for a hurricane according to the models. It's not picking up any velocity potential. It's not picking up any anomalies. And if you go to the SpaghettiOs 
you can see that all the SpaghettiOs agree that this is the track that it is going to take. It has this one chance of strengthening right there in the middle, and that's out of all the the it's out of all the ensembles. And then when it goes around, it just be a strong tropical storm. It has one more of a chance according to one of the models, and that's it. And we're talking out of 31 members. And I guess that's the one that's predicting it could get a little bit stronger. That's because of the moisture uh, getting back into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and making uh, the environment a little more uh, energetic for, for the storm so it can stay energy all the way around. Because that dry air and that wind shear is going to hurt it greatly. But there is a couple spaghettios that show it could do an intensity before it goes. But we'll just have to see. That's still a few days away. But look, it's still showing, if you keep going, that other anomaly is still on its way. So this is four videos in a row. It is on the way. So we'll, we'll keep our, our eyes open for that, guys. Now, as far as all the low-pressure systems, all of them agree this is the path that it is going to take. I don't see anything veering off. So I don't know if that HMON uh, is even correct about it taking that wide turn to the Bahamas. Because the rest of these models are showing it, all of them. We'll go into the Gulf, and then it will die down greatly. So that's good news to me. Here's another look at it with all the uh, low-pressure systems with these ensembles, so you can see the possibilities of where they could be, whether it's sooner or whether it's later. They're all going to the same locations, and if they do come back and, and go into the Gulf, uh, the dry air is going to kill it. It's just going to spin out and die off. This one little ensemble all, all by itself, I don't think I'd believe that. Cause that's saying 198 hours away, and this storm is, is moving pretty quick, and it won't be around that long. But it's still showing, like I said, the other potential anomaly that we're going to be having next that's coming. And you remember, it was 948 millibars when we looked yesterday. Now, according to the euro, the euro is showing us the lowest is going to get to 991 millibars. That's that's barely above uh, 60 miles per hour winds guys so it is showing weakening with these storms all these models the intensity is all showing less and it shows dying in the gulf i love that idea euro's been showing that for a while uh, gfs does take it wide but it's not taking it as wide as it was before uh, this time it's not even close to jamaica it was kind of almost over the west side of the jamaica so it's kind of seen like a southern turn because if it was more south when it does a curve, it would be less of a curve. And it's not even showing, doing too much. You're very on the outer edge, Bahamas. Believe that. Then it goes around 988, spins around, weakens, and dies off. A lot of these show that it's very much going to die off. Now, as you can see, this is us up here. And we definitely have this anomaly coming still from the November 13th all the way to the chance of being stretched out to November 22nd, worst case scenario. But the most likely time will be around November 17th of when this, this uh, velocity potential will be at its most intense part. So I will stay ahead of this, guys. I'm not going to let this go. Now, this is a GEFS. Let's see how far we can go. We only, we only have 258 hours this morning, so I can't show you the second part uh, to show you that it is shown on other models. But I could, I'll do an update later on this afternoon. But the GEFS just shows this thing is just ridiculously weak. The lowest it gets is 994 millibars, and that's it. It's even showing weaker on this system, and it dies off. But we can't see what's coming yet because we need a few more hours. Now, here's all your spaghetti models for all your systems. They all agree that it will turn uh, by Florida Keys. It won't even make no landfall for Florida. It'll just be the winds and the rain. You will be on the north and the east side of it anyway, so you're going to get the worst of the storm anyway. Uh, but uh, it, then it turns back east, and some show it does go and turn back to the Gulf. But believe me, if they turn back to that Gulf, the dry air and the wind shear is going to demolish it, and it's just going to die off in the Gulf. It's not going to affect Louisiana or nobody over there, so believe that, uh, please. Now, if you notice that the, the temperatures from one day to two days, it gets a little more potent right here, but it's already passing this system. And then as it goes through the system by, uh, below Florida and Florida Keys, it is a little warm, but that's actually five days out. So within the next three days, which is what it's going to be, uh, probably the next two days, you can see that it's just don't have all the warmth for it to keep the strength. That's why GFS was showing wide, because it would have to go wide in order to stay in warmer waters. 
Now, as far as the NWS National Weather Service showing a wind gust, uh, within the, the next 62 hours, it's showing that there's a chance for up to 99%, uh, 99 miles per hour uh, wind gust potential. So that would be in this brown area. So the ones that only ones that I can think of that might see that would be Florida Keys, but I can't imagine it would be 99 with the storm only being uh 60 to 65 miles per hour maybe in the high 60s but i'm thinking low 60s maybe in the in the 750 to the middle the middle level 750 millibars i'm sorry 850 millibars in the middle of about 5,000 feet up maybe that's 99 miles per hour wind gusts but i haven't found any of that i still am showing that you still gonna have a peak time uh florida for 18.3 feet of uh of uh t sorry <laughs> of significant wave height on the eastern side of you and it will be in about 68 hours from now but it will be getting worse uh, as it gets about 60 hours from now so be aware if you once again if you have any boats or any of that up in that area which you shouldn't but if you do get rid of them bring them somewhere else because it's not a good, a good area they will get smashed up and banged up now here's a good look at your your uh your ada now is, is messing with uh, the Cayman Islands, God bless you in Cayman Islands. It will be over very quickly. That's the good part. It is moving kind of fast. It's not in a stalling uh, slowness. That's going to happen later after Cuba because it really don't have anything directing it. It'll be like in a, a moment of staleness before it goes to the Gulf. Here's your system right here. So you can see kind of if you look in the middle, you can almost see where it tries to get uh, 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 center of circulation, but it, it just can't. The overflow is just ripping the top off of it, and it can't get over each other. So it's definitely going to be lopsided. Uh, as far as your locations uh, over in Cuba, if you are in any of these areas, you are in the cone for tropical storm force winds and rain. Uh, also, for Florida, it has changed. Uh, if you notice, uh, it actually went down. I'll show you that part on the, on the beginning of less uh, people impacted in the cone. And it actually got more area all the way up to Tallahassee, which I'm sure would make uh, Sebastian happy. That's where he's at. And God bless every single one of you. Thank you so much for supporting this little guy. Y'all, y'all did, y'all did so great. He's so ecstatic. It's, it's unbelievable. Thank you. We appreciate you. All glory goes to God, though. Amen. But if you if you see, it goes the cone now goes to Lower Hollywood. It was all the way up to Boca Raton. It's, now you're not in the cone, Boca Raton, according to Google Earth. You are in Hollywood. Hollywood is the limit for the for the cone. But if you're in, in these in any of these areas, if any of your cities are here, you are in the cone for tropical storm force winds uh, or weak tropical storm force winds as we go more north. But you you are in the cone for that for sure. So be aware, please, if you see your city. Uh, get some sandbags, put them by your door. If you have a garage, put them on a, the lower end of your garage so water don't start trickling in because uh, you will have you know strong winds pushing, pushing this water sideways. And there you are, Sebastian, Tallahassee. Congratulations, you're in a cone, man. And then all the way to Seaside is now in a cone. It was just Apalachicola, but it has grown a little bit in that direction. So be aware of that, please. Now here he is, y'all made him so happy, <laughs> this is Sebastian, he made another video last night and he was so happy because I told him, I said, look man, I said, all glory goes to God, please just praise him, don't don't praise me, you're going to get me in trouble if you do that. Uh, and he says that now, from now on, thanks to you guys, that he is putting the Bible in all his videos now. So amen, more glory to God. Let's spread it amongst everybody. Y'all created that. Thank you so much. And if you have time today, please go see his video. I'll link it in, in the comments if you if you still want to go see it. He's a great kid. He's very smart. And he did good on his forecast. And the part about having the Bible, man, you don't get better than that right there. That's that's a blessing just knowing that you're just waking up young people's eyes. And that's, that's what originally what I wanted to do. If y'all remember, I was going to make a channel. Well, I went off and I was just doing one video a day because I wanted to go uh, try and wake up the young kids and let them know what's going on and not to be cussing so much and not to be thinking bad things all the time and doing bad things. And just helping them because they're, they're being misdirected by people themselves that do those things. So 
God bless every single one of you that did help out. I did appreciate it. His subs is, is at like 196. So if you can please go help him pop that 200, I would love you so much more. If he got over 200, I don't know what he would do with himself. It took him quite a while just to get at 100. So, But good Shabbos. Happy Sabbath. Hope you have a blessed day today. I'd like to read to y'all Psalm 148. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him and his angels. Praise ye him, all his host. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapors, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a blessed day today. I appreciate y'all support. Y'all have woken up that young man's eyes. And I mean, he loved Jesus in the first place, but now he wants to preach the Bible <laughs> at 10 years old, guys. That, that's astounding. Y'all have a blessed day today. Good Shabbos to you. God bless. All glory does go to God. <laughs> Amen.